And on today's toy spot, um, I'm going to be having a look at in humanoids, in humanoids, um, tendril. Uh, I have to unfortunately have my camera in a really funky position just so I can get the full range of how huge this figure is. Um, just to give you guys a good idea here, it's uh, he's unfortunately quite quite large, and uh, by large. Just to give you guys an idea, I'll put the camera back down here. Just to give you guys an idea, if I take, uh, well, if I grab one of the humanoids here. So here we have, once again, Herc Armstrong, and I put him down. Now, you remember how tall Herc Armstrong was. Uh, if I pan down, there's little Herc down there. And if I pan up, there's Tendril. Um, this figure is just absolutely humongous. Uh, in fact, I, ha I have to move my camera back a bit just so you guys can get a full effect of it. Um, I mean, he's awesome. I mean, you don't get toys like this anymore, by far. And uh, actually, what I'll also do too is, you guys, uh, I'll take my little GI Joe here, and I put my little GI Joe down. And if I pan down, there is a three and a half inch GI Joe. And if I go up, and I go way up, there you have Tendril. So, I mean, that just gives you guys an idea of how big these guys were. Um, just just huge, huge figures. Uh, if I move Herc out of the way here, and I move the G.I. Joe out of the way before he gets stepped on. Um, the figure itself... If I remember, I think the figures were about $30 a piece, and this is $30 back in 1986, or was it 87? Um, in the way of articulation, his head does turn, and uh, he's also got arms that rotate, like so, and he creaks like a floor. Um, there is also... And it's old, so you're not going to get a full feel for it, but he has pipe cleaners in his arms. Um, if I just turn him around here, just to give you guys a full scope for the size of him. He has this, also these long tendons, these long, this tail thing going on as well. Um, just, again, a huge figure. I mean, just... you. I, I think if you were to give an Inhumanoids toy, and I'll move this guy back around again, if you give an Inhumanoids toy to a little kid, the kid wouldn't know what the hell to do with it. Um, Tendril was a plant in Humanoid. Uh, he, uh, one thing about him was that they, at one point, cut off a piece of him, and uh, from that little piece grew a second Tendril. So... If it wasn't bad enough battling one tendril, they ended up having to fight two of them, which was unfortunate. Um, the figure does have light piping, which you're not going to see at all because the light's not hitting it just right. But a uh, very huge patch of light piping, by, by the way, as well. Um, the figure itself looks uh, quite a bit like the cartoon. Unfortunately, unlike the Earth Core figures, uh, the humanoids did actually look like the cartoon. Um, again, they're not as easy to come by. You can usually find some in humanoids on eBay. Uh, move the camera a bit. You can usually find them on eBay, but the condition sometimes isn't the greatest. Um, this is the only in humanoids I own that doesn't have its box. Uh, I actually have a box for the other two. Um, but detail was put in there. There's a lot of detail that you can see, like there's veins and 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 all that. So. For, for your money's worth, you, you get a lot of bang for your buck, but um, it's unfortunate just because of the price point that uh, I think the visionary figures were about $6, uh, but being that these were $30, um, it's hard for a kid to ask his parents for a $30 toy and uh, 
you know, and you, and you get something like this. I mean, it, they were good toys, but um, I'm just rambling. So that's basically my review, my toy spot on uh, Inhumanoids Tendril. Um, this is the first of the three. And uh, I'll next be reviewing Decompose as well as Metlar. So stay tuned for that. And with that, I'll catch you guys later.